Okay, and welcome along to this fourth wave of energy incoming on July 10th, 2020. Uh, it's an energy intensity window of nine days. This is going to be a very, very important and um, uh, interesting uh, update here, or not update, but uh, um, day four, yeah, Thursday, July 9th, 2020. So we have our nine day intensity window, uh, level four. We're on Thursday, July 9th. Um, we have our 12 watch areas, uh, space weather, jet stream, ring of fire, earthquake, volcano, sea life, economies, Middle East, United Nations, and that crack at tail, uh, the Cascadia zone, uh, the sunspot cycle. So today, um, we still have Neo wires um, going around on Thursday, July 9th, 2020. They're finding out some crazy things about that comet Neo was. And the uh, sunspot that popped up disappeared. Uh, we see the jet stream uh, across the US is, is definitely upticking um, as the wave is starting to really uh, impact all the various things around the, around the, the, the globe there. And you can see at the top there, the uh, European jet stream is also um, changing flux as well and of course the ring of fire and uh, we did have some earthquakes fairly minimum some in the bay of nevada um, tonga and uh, a couple in russia and stuff like that and there is a couple of volcanoes um, going off all that good stuff no real sea, sea life stuff to report there uh, economies um, a lot of that had to do with uh, the U.S. and all that good stuff. Anyway, um, Middle East, some things going on there with the Middle East uh, due to um, uh, nuclear things. The United Nations had to deal with uh, not taking on the Russian, having the Syria stuff. So, uh, And that crack of tail, we're still keeping an eye on that. And it has minor eruptions going on. And uh, Cascadia Zone, uh, something to do with schools reopening there, or um, areas reopening or learning. So, and uh, uh, actually, I'm gonna open these up. These are very important. So, uh, as you can see, nine, uh, ten, nine here, nine, ten. Uh, very, very big stuff uh, going on there. And uh, looking here. Of course, we know that the wave is going to come in on 7.9, so we will be uh, looking at that as well. So this is very big readings happening. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, we do see an influx there, a big change. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, I will be taking the time eventually to go through all these graphs in more detail, but a lot of big, big energy happening there. And wow look at that like okay i'll draw a little bit on this one uh this here this look at this the energy has now gone in look at that it's now all red look that's energy inside that area that's that's massive amounts of areas there are uh, uh energy so Anyway, um, okay. So the three things we added uh, for Wednesdays onto the graph was the magnetopause, uh, the magneton influx, and the fact that the sunspot completely disappeared off the sun on Wednesday. So this is going to be a very special um, day four. Uh, this is going to. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to release this dream vision. It actually happened. Uh, Thursday, so uh, it's taking me a bit of time to put all the pieces together and put it put it together as fast as possible. Uh, so it can be available for the public as fast as possible. So this dream vision is called Blackout, the Lost Decade uh, Dream Vision. So it started with coins, just as you see here, spinning around and just look like they were flashing or they look brand new or they were new or stuff like that. And then uh, the coin became kind of dusty or old and um like dusty like uh like they were being covered or something like that you know and then it was as if like they were being buried in the sand 
and then they were falling or disappearing like nobody could find the coins or the the coinage or something uh something to do with monetary stuff so some weird going on there and then the vision drifted to houses um but they were houses but they weren't houses and they were like they were cardboard houses in, in the vision I was like what is this all about cardboard houses what and then um the cardboard houses shifted and it was like they were all blown away in the wind like they just evaporated so um um <sighs> let me uh uh so that most likely has to do with uh real estate market or something like that like a um uh something going on with that anyway so like the real estate market or something like that anyway. so the coins let me go back over here to the coins so the coins had to do with uh most likely like the stock market and the houses have to do with um the real estate market yeah so then it shifted from there to <laughs> like the dollar just flying away like it was just uh, moving flying off somewhere so uh, uh had to deal with most likely currencies or um something like that yeah the dollar currency or something like that and um the prices begin to go up and then they begin to go up again and then they go absolutely parabolic basically crazy and then the vision completely shifted uh it was just like i was in this plasma maze moving and um uh then it shifted again and then i saw this massive uh pulse uh of light of rays of light like poof. i was like what is this what's what's going on here like where is this like what is this like you know man it was a massive amount of energy and then it showed i was over the us looking down i was like whoa and then I see these massive explosions, like, uh, connected with, uh, so these massive explosions were connected with this, so, uh, it's possible that this is like an EMP or electric magnetic pulse, uh, explosion here, uh, over the US, and it puts the power grids under, um, a lot of stress. Um, the power grids begin to wobble and wave or um, have issues and then there's drones uh, flying around they're going crazy they're going insane it's like they're losing control like they can't they can't fly correctly like there's a lot of them in the sky so crazy huh and then uh, the power grids are under pressure and uh, due to the EMP or the cyber attack or something weird happens uh there's massive uh transformer explosions and they look like plasma light explosions and then there's barb wave uh barb wired camps or locations set up across the united states and um, the division showed that the barb wire would keep people in so it was pretty crazy I think they're actually electrified to be yeah i think that's what it is possibly yeah and then that people would be brought in sat down held and then they'd be forced injected uh with a needle uh whatever's in the needle who knows but they'll be forced injected so and then the vision shifted to trains with just cars and cars and cars and cars and cars of people like tons of people just inside these cars and they're all chained together um, and the word that was heard was the word father that they would be father so who knows what that all means and then it shifted again and there was like these armies with red lights the robotic red lights or something they'd be called and they'd start um, mobilizing across the US um, robotic red lights and anyone that was dissenting or rebelling uh, they would round them up or go after them or something yeah something crazy and then the vision completely shifted 
tenant shot out like a wooden house in a very serene kind of like area in the mountains and then inside the vision I was inside the house looking at like oh it's a nice little house and then it shifted and then there was a radio and the radio started playing and a song was on the radio and it was uh I think it's Memphis walking or walking in Memphis or something was the name of the song. I was like, wow, I haven't heard that song in a long, long time. Like, pfft, can't even remember, maybe a long time ago anyway. But uh, the words were, that I'm walking in Mem Memphis was walking with my feet 10 feet off of Beal. Walking in Memphis. But do I really feel the way I feel? saw the ghost of Elvis on Union Avenue follow them up to the gates of Graceland then I watched him walk right through so that was the song in the vision that was playing on the radio I was like wow that's crazy what's that all about and then it all shifted again then there was a TV with kind of like a blank, blank screen just just there, I was like, wow, that's an interesting TV, why is it like that, and then, then the TV shifted, and the, right behind the TV popped up the Twin Towers, and I was looking at the Twin Towers, like, wow, that's a, they look like uh, the way they, they should look, and then the year 2001 came up, obviously, because that's when the Twin Towers uh, were crumbled to the ground, right, and then the number is 999 and uh, some in a moment there I did some math I was like wow 999 plus 2001 is 3000 and that's what popped up next I'm like wow 3000 what's 3000 like hmm 3000 3000 and then it shifted and I was in front of an elevator and the elevator was going down 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 like really fast and then it shifted and then an eight popped up. I was like, wow, an eight. And then a two. And I was like, wow, eight plus two is ten. Ten feet on the ground. Ten, ten. And then it became a nine. And I was like, whoa, eight plus two is ten. And a nine. And then it shifted to eleven. I was like, wow, this is what's going on here. And then, out of nowhere, this pops up. The cover of Elvis. And it, it says uh, it happened at the World's Fair, right? I was like, wow, this is what's going on. And then there was a helicopter. And the helicopter was like all over the shop. It wasn't really functioning that well. It was, it was doing something, or somewhere. So anyway, then it shifted again, and it was a bullet. And it was a forty-five bullet case and hollowed out. So a forty-five bullet. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. And then it shifted again to a bulletproof vest. So something to do with the bullet, here something to deal with a helicopter something to deal with this 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 and this was a big thing I was like wow something's going on here something big is going on here like this is a massive dream vision the blackout lost a decade of dream vision and then it shifted to this as if like some miracle had taken place like somebody was shot with maybe uh, a 45 or something like that, something crazy, and uh, they resurrected as if like the ghost of Elvis resurrected or something, or who knows, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy, you know, and that was like, like a big massive worldwide miracle or something, but it wasn't, they really had a bulletproof vest on or something like that, you know, that's, they were able to get, they were able to, they got shot or something, or they got like, poof, maybe uh yeah 45 or something like that you know and they resurrected or they came back or they they survived or something like that and then it shifted again and then i was like where is this 
like what is that a needle oh that's the that thing called uh, the Seattle Space Needle so it brought me right in front of there and then it brought me even closer with the sun so I was putting some light on something to do with some time frame as the dream vision goes on so that that was the end of the dream vision so it's going to be interesting to see how all that plays out and uh, so it has, has to do with um, coins um, houses um, it could be so the coins could be the US stock market the houses obviously could be the real estate bubble that's going on and um, the money could have to do with the currency that's going to happen but uh, I believe the fourth wave of energy is coming to help the world not to go in to a lost decade not to actually for the US not to experience a lost decade because that would be severe and terrible for the US so uh, it's most likely the fourth wave is going to aid to kind of like stop some nefarious dark plans that they have uh, to um, um, create darkness on, on humanity so and um, yeah so that's the end of uh, today which is the fourth wave of energy incoming on July 10 2020 an energy intensity window of nine days July 6 2020 July 14 2020 day four Thursday July 9 2020